Tonight, the stormy conditions not helping frustrated travelers at Midway Airport. Many of them already dealing with delays from Southwest Airlines. WGN's Julian Cruz live at the Midway Airport tonight with the very latest. Julian. Well, Micah, Southwest Airlines passengers returning to Chicago Midway tonight feeling battered after a long and difficult weekend of travel and stress and not knowing whether or not they're going to be able to get on a return flight home after Southwest Airlines canceled 2,000 flights since Saturday. We flew in uh, right over the airport and kept going. <laughs> Donna Nalloway describing how her returning Southwest flight circled midway for 30 minutes tonight due to lightning finally touching down on a turbulent travel weekend. So we were traveling with my son and future daughter-in-law and we had to split up and take different flights to get home and we got to come back to work, come back home to their families. Carol Sims describing the tense scene at the Southwest ticket counter in Las Vegas. It was so bad that they were offering $800, $1,500 to give their seat to someone else because people were desperate to get back home. Staffing shortages with Florida traffic control and labor problems said to have sparked the rash of cancellations with the help of bad weather, but nobody seems to know for sure. There was a traffic controller tower possibly, but it's hard to know for sure. The airlines issuing an extraordinary written apology to both customers and employees of Southwest. Spokespeople saying, quote, unfortunately, the out of place aircraft and continued strain on our crew resources created additional cancellations across our point to point network. And they cascaded throughout the weekend and into Monday. Transportation experts say Southwest problems have created the perception that the airlines ability to navigate through tough times may be diminishing. The, the smoking gun here really is that uh, other airlines have had minor cancellations and Southwest has turned into a full-scale crisis. And you're looking at a picture now of people as they get ready to uh, get their tickets, their boarding pass, and to get on the flights that are still going to be leaving Midway Airport tonight. There have been a ton of delays, many uh, flights delayed two or three hours, so people still trying to get out of Midway Airport. Now, in the written statement, Southwest spokespeople say that their operational challenges that they have had over the last three days uh, were not the result of Southwest employee demonstrations. Transportation experts say the airline, Southwest Airlines, is dealing with a crippling loss of morale. At Midway Airport, Julian Cruz, WGN News. Thank you, Julian.